Hey, what's happening guys? Clickwood here back again bringing you guys another video. Today guys, we're playing a brand new game. This just came out. It is called Star Wars Battlefront. We're going to be playing the Fighter Squadron game mode. This is a flight type game mode. You fly around, you choose your vehicle that you want to use, and you shoot people down. That's basically the concept of this game mode. And I'll tell you guys, it is an absolute freaking blast. We're going to start off here uh, using the TIE Fighter. And guys, I had no idea what I was doing here. This is my very first game. You're going to see me kind of mess up a little bit. I'm going to make some mistakes. I'm going to do pretty well for the most part. I'm not going to be too terrible, but I do make some mistakes definitely. Up there in the top of the screen, flying down now to the middle of the screen, that is the Slave 1 ship. And I am telling you guys, if you get that thing, you can do some serious damage very, very quickly. But I'm just going to be flying around with the standard TIE Fighter here in this first gameplay video that you're going to see. Uh, I try out a couple of different ships here as I go along. But uh, yeah, immediately when you get past these clouds, which first of all, the fact that you fly through the clouds and they're so like impactful, you can't hardly see anything when you're flying in them. That's incredible. But when you get down here into the actual battle... This thing is freaking beautiful. This is one of the most visually impressive games that I have personally ever played. And you're going to see me here, guys. Pick up my first kill here. Going to try to. And there it goes. Yes, we get our very first kill there on a human. And I say on a human because, uh, as you can see there, there are also bots flying around. Uh, most of these ones that I'm shooting here are going to be humans, if I remember correctly here, at least at the beginning. Uh, and you can tell because when you hover over them, when you put your actual little fighter cursor over them, it'll actually say their, their PlayStation Network name, or if you're on Xbox, it'll say their Xbox uh, ID right there under their character, just like it does on any, any other standard shooter game. But in this game, there's actually uh, also non-human controlled characters that are flying around, uh, which makes things kind of interesting because you can pick up some good kills on those non-human controlled characters. They're not very evasive. They pretty much just let you shoot them and they go down pretty quickly. Whereas if you're going up against a human, a lot of times they know some of the evasive maneuvers that you can do and uh, they know how to get away. But right here in the beginning, yes, this is my very first game that I ever played and I'll show you guys at the end. Uh, that I do level up from level 1 to level 3 at the end of this one. But um, doing pretty well so far. As you can see there in the bottom left hand or in the bottom center of the screen, it was saying enemy locked in, which meant basically that their cursor was over my name. They were holding the L2 button. And when you do that, your fighter, your your jet basically will, uh, will shoot more accurately at those targets as far as I understand it at least that's how it's been working out for me so far uh, so when you do that you you hover over them press that L2 button hold it down and then you're pressing the R2 button on the PlayStation 4 to actually fire here uh, and you can do you can actually kill things relatively quickly in this game you're going to see me put in some work on some of these guys I think that guy might have been a little bit injured to begin with there uh, but we do take him out there and then again we're just holding down that L2 button and pretty much just flying around trying to lock onto things I'll tell you guys when I first started this uh, I'm not a huge Star Wars fan like I, I kind of understand it but to be honest with you I didn't really know much of the difference between the different ships so uh, I, I didn't really know which one was my team and which one was not my team unless I was flying around and holding that L2 button to kind of indicate it and there you guys see the Millennium Falcon flying around uh, that thing does some serious damage as well that thing can take on some serious heat from from uh, the opposition it can certainly tank some bullets and uh, take out vehicles itself really, really easily. It's probably the most dominant thing in this game that I've seen so far, as far as the fighter squadron game mode goes anyway. But what I was getting at before, though, with the L2 button, uh, I, I think that that is, um, it might be something that needs to be patched, maybe even. I'm not sure, because it felt like it was really easy, at least in the beginning here, for me to lock onto people, and especially the the uh, computer-controlled characters, the AI. I was pretty much taking them down with without any problem whatsoever, and you see me there taking out another human, another one, another one, another one. It's just one after another here, and again, this is my very first game. When we were playing this, it was myself and Chase Plays Madden. I think you guys, a lot of you guys know him. If you're not subscribed to his channel go over there and subscribe he doesn't upload a whole lot of videos anymore but when he does they're usually pretty entertaining uh so anyway though is he and i trying this game out for the first time and while we were playing it we were both saying to ourselves is it really this easy or are we just like really really good at this game to begin with or are we playing people that are just absolutely horrible because i mean as you guys can see here i am just destroying this team i'm taking down practically everything finally i get taken down there for a second time as you can see you get taken down pretty quickly in this game but at this point i've killed 10 humans already i've only died twice 
That's pretty dang impressive for your first game, I have to say. Uh, I felt pretty darn good about that one. But uh, yeah, anyway, like I said, in the beginning, it felt very, very easy. And again, it could have just been that we were playing against people that really didn't know what they were doing. I think th the game had just recently released at like an hour before that, maybe. So, um, you know, I'm sure just about everybody, this is maybe their first or second, third game playing it, possibly. So it's possible that they just didn't really know what they were doing. And I have played some flight games in my past. I used to play Star Fox back in the day on N64 and you see me there follow that guy to my death <laughs> I was chasing him down trying to kill him and I flew right into the ground which you can definitely do you can also fly into other planes and blow up as well which happens a lot and unfortunately it does count as a death but um Anyway, though, I, I had played Star Wars, or not Star Wars, excuse me, Star Fox quite a bit back in the day on the N64, so I at least had a general idea of what I was doing with flying around and trying to follow and things like that. This game is quite a bit different than Star Wars, but um, I, I was still, I felt like I was pretty much in my element, at least at the beginning here. I didn't feel completely out of my element, and I, I felt like I had a pretty good game here. We're just about to wrap this thing up here, 198 to 131 currently. Basically, you play up to 200. There's a bunch of different ways to accumulate points but for the most part you shoot down the enemy planes that's the basic goal here in this game mode as you see there guys we do go a 12 7 and 3 in our very first game pretty damn impressive if i do say so myself most kills as well as most total fighters destroyed, which includes the AI bots as well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I'm going to be bringing you guys more Star Wars here in the coming days. I'm having a lot of fun playing this, so I'm going to try and do a little bit more. If you guys did enjoy it, do me a favor. Click that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And let me know, guys, what else you want to see here on Star Wars Battlefront. Thank you, guys, and I'll talk to you again soon.